2022 Guns and Boxing Range Day, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Come on with us. Let me show you what's going on. Hey, we're here. 2022 Guns and Boxing. Um, we're out here at the uh, Range Day. We're going to be going around checking out some of the booths, meeting some of the other fellow YouTubers, fellowshipping and having a good time out here on the range. As you can see, um, very well prepared. There are booths here, over around the corner. Got a medical tent, adequate security. Um, rules are clearly displayed and so forth. I think we're gonna have a good time today. Hey y'all, come on down here. Got some treats on the table I want you to check out. Just browse around with me. Really, really nice so far. We're enjoying ourselves. Come on, check it. Check out the good toys. Okay, we're here at MD Arsenal. Rob, aka Kick Up Dust. How you doing? Tell us about what you got going on here. What's going on, guys? How you doing? It's Kick Up Dust 308 from Talking with Turkeys. We're here with MD Arsenal. We're at Guns and Boxing event. You know, we're super excited about it. We have a bunch of stuff going on. We got our ammo set up. We have our firearms here. We got the 50. firearms there. We got the 50s. We got merch. You know, we're just we're just waiting for everybody to pour in and get the event started, and we're gonna have a good time. Oh, Maryland Arsenal, we're in Hagerstown, Maryland. Right. Um, so we're indoor range, uh, firearms, education training, retail space, 11,000 square feet. So definitely, uh, if you are there in the area, come out, check us out. Come yeah, out and have yeah. a good time. I got a brother-in-law up there in uh, uh, Maryland. Well, okay. Su sister and brother-in-law. Well, I'm going to have to refer you, okay? Yeah, I appreciate that. All right. We appreciate that. Okay. Well, thanks for having us. We All right. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, sir. Bye, man. Hey, I'm here with Mike from Batcave Ballistics out of uh, Asheville, North Carolina. Actually, you know, we're right here in the home state. We're yes, homeboys. Sir. Okay, here we go. Tell us what you got, Mike. A little bit of everything. Uh, yeah. We start at the Matus, and we've got a rotary 40 millimeter, and we go all the way down to sub guns and, and pistols. Okay. So you ready to light them up today, yes, right? Yes, sir. Okay. We're a lot of fun today. Wow, what's your favorite so far on your table that you have out? Favorite in what way? Because, I mean, it's hard not to say the Ma Deuce. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, it's, guns that surprised me, okay. actually, the Steyr Aug. The Steyr Aug. You know, everybody knows this gun from Die Hard, but I built it for that reason. But right. after I built it, it is such an amazing gun as far as the accuracy of it. Okay. Full auto, you can watch the impacts through the scope. Oh, it's damn. stable. It's an outstanding gun. It was, the, it was the biggest surprise to me because it was one of my grail guns. I had to have it, but I didn't expect it to be all that good. Right. Because it, it is an older design and it's not in active use so much anymore. So right. I didn't think it was going to be great, but it really surprised me. I've had a little military use with the AUG with uh, foreign countries and um, they tend to really enjoy it. You know, the optics. Mm -hmm. I think if I had to change anything about it, I would probably make an upgrade to the optics. But well, overall, they have new versions with rails now, so okay. you can do your own optics on top. Outstanding. So they're they're working that way, it seems. Okay. All right. Hey, thanks for your time. No problem. Thank you. Thank you to the host. Appreciate you guys putting on this event. Let's give them a round of applause. Appreciate you. Yeah, big play. Yeah. It's a lot of work to make events like this happen. Oh, man. Um, so my name is uh, Kevin Dixie. I know some of you know me, some of you don't. Um, so I've been in uh, the firearms industry for about 22 years. Um, before we get to the safety briefing, I'm going to talk to you guys about association for literally three to four minutes. And here's what's important. Uh, every last single one of you, whether you are a professional with this or not, need to listen to me very, very carefully. The rooms that you aren't normally in, I am. I'm in a room with the politicians. I'm in a room with the organizations. 
have been for decades, and I know what they're saying about us. Okay? I know what their concerns are. And I know that this is a good thing when I look at audiences like this, because I didn't see this 15 years ago. Okay? I know it's a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. Everyone here, while you're celebrating events like this, you're celebrating the different diversity that you see when you click on YouTube or Instagram or whatever, when you go to your local gun range, even today, whatever it is, remember the association of what you represent is bigger than yourself. Every time you shoot a video with that gun, every time you have a conversation with somebody about a gun, every time you talk about self-defense, every time you talk about responsibility, you are influencing millions of people. And there are also a small percentage of people that are looking for you to mess up. For they can use that as a reason to say, this is why we didn't trust them. Get what I'm saying? So, don't just shoot guns. Every single time you let a round out of that gun that is truly representing freedom you didn't have. This very land we are standing on it has dirt and blood that made sure you can stand here and be free. If you take the gun and you're just foolish with it, you're too cool for school, nobody can tell you to be safe, congratulations. You're the person that I'm attacking in that room because I can't have you represent our industry. Be responsible, be smart, understand every time you look at that camera, it is somebody looking back at that camera to say, that's the person I'm going to listen to. I don't care how many followers this guy got, how many followers that guy got, that's the person I like listening to. So whatever you say, that is what you are translating. Is that to a 15-year-old child? Is that to a 25-year-old dad that's trying to learn how to defend his family? What are you educating them with, foolishness or information? Your association is important. Last thing, our community needs to do a better job of one thing. I'm gonna challenge you all to do it. Next time you have a conversation with somebody about a firearm, I want you to ask them who they are as an individual. Because who are we arming? That's very important. Have a conversation with them. Our community, I say all the stuff we ain't supposed to say out loud. Our community has one big problem. It might not be you as an individual, but everybody here gonna understand what I'm talking about. Two things, if you wanna hide something from black people, where do you put it? In a book. So you need to start reading and being educated. How many brothers and sisters do we see picking up guns, riding around in their cars with guns, getting arrested tomorrow? I ain't even do nothing. Yes, you did, because you didn't read the law. Okay? Which also says we should have people politically involved. I'm not going to tell you how to vote. But be politically involved to make sure you can have the freedom to have your gun. Second thing, when we, especially our young people, when we pick up guns, especially that 16, that 18-year-old, they're not thinking about freedom. They're not thinking about fun. They normally think about killing somebody who looks just like them. That's the first thing. I'm waiting on the opposite trip now. I wish an MF would and all those things. I need for you guys to grab that mentality and choke it out of them, not physically. But I need for you to address that. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay? We just lost another one of our multi-millionaires to foolishness, to somebody that can't control their temper. So make sure you are addressing these things because if you want these events to keep populating, if you want the image of you to be positive, then it starts with you. It starts with you. Does everybody understand that? Absolutely. So please, man, every time you engage, every time you pick up a gun, I want you to have fun. I want you to I, enjoy it. But being safe, which is what we're going to talk about now, is cool. Informing people about what's going on is cool. Getting them active so we don't have brothers and sisters being arrested for felonies just because they cross an invisible line. Get them active in understanding what the gun is, why you can't have it. And the moment they hit you with, well, why can't I drive across that line? I don't know, good question, ask your politician. Start getting them involved because this freedom that we carry every single day was not with us 100 years ago, at all, at all. That's why I'm wearing this shirt because to me, I'm telling tell you right now, Harriet would have smacked the shit out of you if you would disrespect freedom in front of her face today. You think about all the people that fought hard to make sure that we have the freedom and this gun, this tool, was the one thing that was used to keep us oppressed. So why in the hell would we use it to oppress ourselves now? A gun is one of two things, remember this. It's either a tool of freedom or a tool of oppression. One of the two, you get to choose. And nothing's worse than oppressing your damn self. Be free with it. But freedom comes with information and education. Remember, every time you talk to that camera, you are talking to somebody that's going to harp on every single word you say. Good to go.
want you to talk to the ladies about getting more of the ladies into the shooting sports. What have you got for us? Oh, right now on the spot? Right? On the spot. As far as what, competition? Competition, anything. I want the ladies to start to embrace this and come into it more. Um, you know, uh, self-protection, home protection, you name it. You the expert, go with it. Well, I would say I'm the expert. You the expert. Um, I'm new to competition shooting once I found out about it because I'm a very competitive person. I was like, this is something I want to do. So I'm fairly, like I said, I'm fairly new to it. But ladies, there's nothing to be scared of. It's so much fun. Just get out there. Learn how to defend yourself. That's what I'm here for. If you do lack the confidence, just watch some of my videos. If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> Outstanding. Absolutely. We can get it done. Yes. yes. Like that. Thank you like very it. much.
Joe, man. All right, so Joe, it's about to start up. Put the bag out, empty mask. She clear, so I got, first I'm gonna tell you I got my own bags. These are the black round bull bags. You find them, the link in my bio. You know, you come out real quick. Bam, she out, you see what I'm saying? She clear. She clear, now I got a C2 door. With a Trisha Kind SRO on it. And it's just, it's just immaculate, bro. Look. look at the reset. I put a little spider web on it just to play around. To be honest with you, this is my everyday carry. This is what I carry every day. Okay. Right here. It's a bad boy. You gonna make me get one. Hey, did you shoot it yet? Oh, yeah. wait, oh. wait till you shoot it, now. He's going here. But look, it's a great gun. Staccato C2 Duel. Y'all go check it out. Tell us about this bad boy right here. This right here is the Iron Horse Firearm. Can anybody tell me what's wrong? What's different? Well, as you can see, the trigger's gone. This right here, you shoot with your thumb. So, we're gonna show you, it's clear. Clear. It's supposed to be more accurate. Instead of doing this. And the question I ask is, I always ask everybody, because they be like, that sounds crazy. But I'm like, on your phone, what you use? You use your finger like this, or you use your thumb? They use their thumb. Your thumb is gonna be way faster once you get used to it. They don't understand. But, I'm always the first one to get in on the route. I wish you good luck, you know what I'm saying? So, let's see, if I get nine more people, somebody going home with it. Here with Mr. Pringle, he's feeding us today. I got me a hamburger and some ribs with the flip-flop sauce. Banging. So good you put on the flip-flop and eat it. We're doing ribs, we got hot dogs, we got hamburgers. And we got some chicken coming on later. We got mac and cheese and cornbread. We do a real around here. Everything's Pat Man approved on the side. Okay, okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. What up, what up, what up, what up? It's your man, Michael Williams, Sr. with Guns and Boxing. It's the one and only boy, Wonder, Michael Williams, Jr. And want to give a big shout-out to Norman, man. He came through, showed some love to the Guns and Boxing event. We appreciate it, man. Norman, you my guy, you my guy, man. Shout-out to Gunslinger, shout-out to Norman. Norman, like Mike Jr. said, um, thank you, man, for, for coming out. It was a great event. And uh, one of the things I love about Norman, Norman, Norman came out not just as a celebrity, but Norman showed so much love. Norman spent a lot of money with the vendors, uh, uh, um, ammo, shooting their guns. Norman, that is how you do it. On behalf of Guns and Boxing, we appreciate you. We love you. Looking forward to seeing you at the uh, next event. Uh, that's going to be called The Purge. Norman, you are what we need in this community and what we need at these events. Brother, we love you. Everyone that's watching this, shout out to Norman Smith, my brother, for many, many years. Thank you for coming out and showing everybody how it's done when you come out to these events. Love you, my brother. Guns and Boxing.